this video is to help you know how and which bearing spacer you're going to need for when you're reinstalling your bearings or getting new wheels. Uh, some bearing and wheel combo packs come with your spacers already and pre-assembled in nice packs, but that doesn't mean they have the right spacer that are going to accommodate the axles on your skates. So you may need to get new spacers even when you're getting the combo packs. There's two bearing spacers. There's a floating spacer and there's a long sleeve bearing spacer. And uh, they're very easy to tell which one you're going to need. If you have your bearing and your axle, uh, there's basically a six millimeter axle and an eight millimeter axle. They look uh, very similar, but the, I don't expect everybody to have calipers out there and be measuring their axles. The very simple way to tell is simply slide your axle through the center part of your bearing. And if you have play in there, that means you're going to need a long sleeve bearing spacer, which looks like this. Because if that's in the center of the bearing on your wheel, then you got a nice secure fit and there's no play in that. If you have a bearing out and your axle takes up the full part of that center hole, there's no play, then of course you're going to be using a floating bearing spacer. Because now you've got a nice secure fit all the way through. You're always going to use a bearing spacer in between the bearings on your wheels. This helps uh, take some of the load and reduces friction. Uh, so depending on, on the bearings and, and the structure of the bearing you're using, uh, they have better uh, resistance for, for the load bearing that you're going to be putting on them. But you're always going to have bearing spacers. And it's very simple, just as you saw, to choose which bearing spacers you're going to need for your particular axle.